uh, we're trying to get this to work for a GSXR gauge and when we hook it up the problem is the temperature here goes wacky we see error codes the temperature jumps around and basically it's not working so there's there's some fundamental uh, difference between the 650 G, uh, SV650 and the GSXR. This is the data that's going from the ECM to the gauge. There's eight bytes, a gap, and eight more bytes. Uh, in here is temperature information and error uh, error codes from the ECM. The the gap from between messages. There are eight bytes in a message. There's an intermessage gap here of about 30 milliseconds and under that condition it's clearly not working so after some mucking around I did an experiment and changed the intermessage gap from 30 to 60 basically doubling it recompile the build oops gotta put on the program connector this connector allows the computer to download a new program to the microcontroller. So plug that on and reload a new program. That downloads the new program. And now the intermessage gap has moved from 30 over to 60 so we've increased this distance here now if you can read it it's a little blurry it's about 55 milliseconds and voila it's working nice stable temperature reading no error codes no FI light and now if we turn we turn this uh, potentiometer which is basically emulating the uh, engine cooling temperature on the motorcycle. If we turn it down the temperature goes up so we'll give it a little tweak down. 153 goes up. There's a little bit of delay uh, built into the gauge to smooth the output so, it does, so it's not jumpy. So it takes a few seconds to come to final temperature. So 177 and if we turn the thermistor up, the temperature goes down. Fifty two, forty nine, forty five, forty three, forty one, and finally stabilized.